Well, while we're on the subject of FDNY, actually, Mary, remember when they chanted Trump at Let Letitia James a couple weeks ago? Oh, yeah, that was great. So now federal judge is saying that that was racist. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today I bring you an update on the Letitia James booing incident that happened at a promotion ceremony at a church in New York City. Now, remember, there was the allegation, the rumor, some rumblings about the FDNY commissioner coming after the firefighters who were booing in the church, talking about they, they their jobs might be in jeopardy, things of this nature. Well, that was kind of squashed. They said, oh, no, well, it wasn't really like that. It's not really a big deal. Yeah, we had an investigator try to figure out who these guys were, but there was never really going to be a big deal. Well, now we have a federal judge in New York City trying to revive it, saying, hey, man, let's let's find these guys and figure out what's going on because the booing, the chants against Miss Letitia James, the attorney general of New York, were racist in nature. Now, before I go into it, let's go back a little bit and give you a recap. This was a, a few weeks ago, a few days ago. When was this exactly? This video from March 7th. So just a few weeks ago, Letitia James was booted at church and this was really big because a lot of the firefighters got in trouble, but then they didn't get in trouble. But now they may be in trouble yet again. So let's watch this. Then we're going to get into an article and figure out what's really happening here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Oh, come on. We're in a house of God. <laughs> First, um, simmer down. I want to thank Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief Hodgins for that recognition. So you see what's happening. She was being booed and some of the guys were chanting Trump, Trump, Trump. That right there got a lot of guys in trouble, although I'm not really sure if they have been disciplined as of yet. But I think this judge who we're going to show here in the moment, I think that he might want to change that fact if they have not been disciplined. So this is him right here. You see what it says? This is on New York Daily News. And of course, I will link to the article in the box. Federal judge demands answers from FDNY commissioner. I think her name was Laura Kavanaugh. Top city lawyer after pro-Trump firefighters heckle their attorney general. And this article is from yesterday. Yesterday morning, 6 a.m. Not an April Fool's joke. It's a real thing. So let's read and see what's happening here. Spurred on in part by a recent incident in which firefighters heckle state attorney general Letitia James. A federal judge is demanding that the FDNY commissioner and the city's top lawyer appear before him to explain why it's taken so long for the fire department to answer equal opportunity complaints. Brooklyn federal court judge Nicholas Garofis, who's overseeing the department civil rights settlement with the Vulcan Society of Black Firefighters, has ordered FDNY Commissioner Laura Kavanaugh and the city's corporation counsel Sylvia Hines Radix to come before him at the next status conference in the case in May. The order came after Vulcan Society President Regina Wilson blasted the FDNY for its anemic response to equal opportunity complaints and said that the heckling incident exposes the still racist culture at the FDNY. So we see what's going on here. There's a separate case, okay? There's some EEOC complaints that the Black Firefighter Association out there in New York City or a Black Firefighter Association, I'm not going to say it's the, it could be more than one, but you have this association talking about, well, there's some equal opportunity complaints. And since you guys are not really responding to the uh, incident involving Letitia James, that proves that you guys are racist. The racist culture still exists, which bolsters our case. You see what I'm saying? And the judge, Mr. Garofis, is like, hey, okay, what's going on? I need you guys to come before me and explain what's taking so long. Now, in reality, I don't think Laura Kavanaugh wants to go forward with the investigation to get the firefighters in trouble for booing during the, the promotion ceremony. That'd be really bad PR. But if she doesn't go forward, that's going to be potentially bad for her when it comes to this case of the EEOC complaints. And it could um, make the firefighters in New York City appear to be racist. OK, you see where we're going? Let's continue here. I don't know if you had an opportunity to just see the vile nature 
of these members, even when we were at the Christian Cultural Center, where they started booing and saying, Trump, Trump, Trump. While Letitia James was at the podium, Wilson told the judge at a March 14th status conference, this behavior is who this department is. Not all of them, but a large portion of them. So what are they? What are they? Are they racist or do they just dislike Letitia James? It doesn't matter what color the attorney general is. She could be black, white, Puerto Rican, candy stripe. I think that most people see the 464 or whatever dollar amount bail, which got quote unquote reduced to 175 million. I think the average person walking the street would see that bail amount as excessive. And there's no criminal complaint here. You're talking about he overinflated the value of his properties. So that's some kind of fraud. Although it's not because the entire real estate industry operates that way. People like John Stewart came out and said, oh, well, this is not a victimless crime, but he did the exact same thing for his condo. And I'll link to that article in the box. I might even put it on the screen right here so you can see it for yourself. So this is really a nothing burger designed to attack the former president. So he's not able to run and to drain his resources. It's like the federal government is waging a proxy war against the president using Letitia James and Fannie Willis and many others. The color is irrelevant. It's about the intention. It's about the purpose. So it's really crazy to flip it into a race thing, but it's 2024. What are you going to expect? Let's continue. So when black people go to work and have to deal with this and you don't get any help or support really from the department, it's horrific. Wilson was referring to a March 8th incident in which pro-Trump firefighters heckled Letitia James during a promotion ceremony at the Christian Cultural Center in Starrett City, Brooklyn. The department launched an investigation soon after, and Kavanaugh apologized on behalf of the FDNY. Yeah, they had an investigation. They were trying to figure out who these guys were, but then when the case got a bunch of bad press, like, okay, you're trying to fire these guys or get them hemmed up because they were expressing their freedom of speech off the clock, really, at a promotion ceremony. I mean, it was really bad PR, so... I think they backed off. They're talking about, oh, well, there wasn't going to be any real penalty. That was their statement back then after they had the investigation. But now they may have to kind of renege on that and try to get these guys in trouble. The heckling came weeks after a judge slapped the former president with a $454 million judgment at the end of this Manhattan civil fraud prosecution by James's office. Wilson's plea moved Garofis to issue an ultimatum. Get the CEO, pardon me, get the EEO office straightened out. Take some of your brilliant lawyers from the Corporation Council and put them in there and start holding hearings. That's not a request. That's a direction. Garofis also said he was shocked by the heckling incident. I've lived in New York City all my life. I know what the problem is. And believe me, front and center is what happened the other day. This doesn't have to do with politics. This has to do with race. So the judge, the federal judge, Mr. Garofis, who we showed you earlier, let me go back to my man right here. He says that the, the issue is race, all right? They're booing Letitia James, who hit the president with a record-breaking, record precedent-setting bail amount for a thing that's nothing, really, not a criminal thing, a regular thing in real estate, $454 million that got reduced to $175 million, which is still ridiculous. It's really unconstitutional because isn't there a clause about excessive bail amounts? And wouldn't $175 million be an excessive bail amount? You see what I'm saying? But let's keep on going here. Wilson has long complained about the backlog of complaints. FDNY officials said at the March hearing that cases have been open for I have a year as the EEO office deals with staffing shortages. Complaints are supposed to be fully investigated within 90 days. We put our lives on the line every day, but we got to go to work about our fist balled or worried about who was the next person who was going to say something and then the officers don't protect them. Why do we have to do this day after day? It's horrific. I don't know how else to say it. It's as bad. It's been bad for years. All right, so basically you have some other stuff going on with the EEOC and complaints, and then basically they're trying to say the NY, or pardon me, the FDM, FDNY is racist. Firefighters are racist. That's a problem, and the incident at the church proves as such. That is the bottom line here, and the judge appears to agree. So this might be a problem. I thought it was over with. I thought that 
the the negative PR from the case would have ended it, but here we are. It's been renewed because the judge said that it's racist. As I close, I want to say this. It's not racist to express your grievance against someone because they did something that you don't like. It's not racist to do that, okay? $454 million, really? It's ridiculous. I, I don't care what color, what gender, what they identify as, what species they identify as. It's totally irrelevant. That decision is bad no matter how you slice it and no matter who it comes from. To call that racist is ridiculous. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you agree with those who say that the booing of Letitia James during the ceremony was racist in nature? Or do you disagree? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I 100% disagree. The ruling from Letitia James was ridiculous. And it doesn't matter who she is or what color she is, how old she is, where she came from, what she identifies as. She could be straight, LGBT, XYZ, who cares? That decision, that dollar amount, it's just, there, there's no way to actually make that make sense. None whatsoever, especially when this is a practice that is done in real estate and it's standard. A lot of real estate guys were mad at that because that's how the industry goes. Everybody knows it. And you have this precedent set that could damage the entire industry from the ground up. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.